Welcome to another J Crazy news headlines and a special Saturday afternoon those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. When it comes on to the girl clone syndrome, no other man does it best like Jamaican men. Now first on the news, this is the parish of St. Catherine, Spanish town to be exact, along John's Road. Now a 28 year old man from Fraser's Content in Red Pond, St. Catherine has been charged for the abduction of his ex-girlfriend also holding a gun to her face. Now charged is 28 year old girl clone Nigel Pusey. I said before he's from Fraser's Content in Red Pond, St. Catherine. Now on January 19, Nigel went to the home of his ex-girlfriend along John's Road, which happened at exactly 6.20 p.m. in the evening. Now, Pusey smashed her window and also cut her light wires. He also approached his ex-girlfriend while she was on her way home to be exact and point a gun to her face and also instruct her to go into the vehicle that he was driving. Based on the police report, Pusey stopped at a gas station to get some petrol when ex-girlfriend escaped successfully. Now the ex-girlfriend made her way to a police station when the matter was reported. Now on Friday, which was yesterday, Pusey was picked up accident charge by the police for illegal gun, ammo, abduction, also common assault and damages which was done to her home. Now girl clown Nigel Pusey is scheduled to appear in court on February 2nd. Now as I said before when it comes on to the girl clone syndrome, no other man does it best like Jamaican men. And in this single case, it shows you that it is true. It's a fact. There's no lies. No lies were told. This youth gave up his life to attack his ex-girlfriend. Now he will be behind bars for a very long time. I always say, think before you do something which later on you will regret. Now we head towards the parish of St. Anne, where St. Anne have been buzzing in nothing but negativity. Now, when it comes on to this particular incident, I always say to the public or whoever I'm around, be he mindful and also careful of the persons who you get involved with relationship-wise and who you also have intercourse with. Because in Jamaica, there are a lot of mad people in clean clothes. And when I say mad people in clean clothes, I'm referring to persons who have anger issues, their insecurities are sky high, and they are trouble. Now this key right now is Romaine Harris, who is known as DJ Paz, who is from the parish of St. Anne. Now on Thursday, he was burned with hot water by his girlfriend while he was in his sleep. Now based on information, now the girlfriend of Romaine Harris, aka DJ Paz, is on the run and she is being sought by the police. She is of 22 years of age. 
Now on Thursday, around 8 a.m., the girlfriend, the old Crosmite, the Jezebel, poured hot water on the face and chest of the selector who was sleeping. Now, this is YouTube. I know for sure I cannot show the pictures of him being burned because YouTube has strict policies and guidelines. But you can see the pictures on my Instagram story. Now, this is a picture of the old Crosmite who was wanted by the police for pouring hot water on Romaine Harris. Now, the police are asking anyone with information to please contact them about this female's whereabout as she is wanted for attempted murder. Now still in the parish of St. Anne, boy may I tell you, St. Anne is leading in murders when it comes on to the entire Jamaica. Can you believe it? St. Anne is leading in murders. The Garden Parish have become the Garden of Mayhem and Bloodshed. Now on Thursday, we had a murder which took place in Tasty in Crossroad, St. Andrew. And now, early this morning around 2 a.m., a next murder took place inside Mother's Ocherius. Now dead is K.J. Sims, who is said to be from a St. Mary address. Now based on information, an argument developed between a group of men and KJ Sims inside Mothers when a brawl occurred, which means it got physical. Now during the brawl, KJ was shot in the chest. KJ was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, based on information, KJ was in the line inside mothers when a man from the group cut the line in front of him. So an argument developed between him and the man and the man's friend joined the argument where it became physical, leading KJ Sims to be murdered inside Mother's restaurant. So far, there's no information as yet if the men who were involved in the brawl were arrested. The police are investigating. Now KJ leaves his child fatherless. May I tell the people. You see, I offer condolences, but I also offer advices to Jamaicans. In Jamaica, in order to preserve your life, please avoid arguments with other individuals. If you are in KFC, Burger King, Popeyes, and somebody cut a line, let them go. Do not, I repeat, don't hold no argument with them. Make them go on. You preserve your life. Because you know, Jamaicans are hot tempered. And one argument can send you into a casket. If them cut a line in the ATM machine, or any fast food chain, make them go on. Your life is more important and your peace should be 
secured. Now the shooter was said to be a police officer. So a police officer was the individual who shot KJ in his chest during the brawl. Now still the parish of St. Anne, a place called Borough Bridge, district to be exact, where a vendor who was 31 years of age was found in bushes with multiple stab wounds. Now dead is 31 year old Craig Campbell. Now Campbell's body was found yesterday at exactly 10.30 a.m. in bushes after he went missing 9 p.m. Thursday night. Now based on information, now Thursday around 9 p.m. Campbell was walking home along in the company of his girlfriend when he decided to take a shorter route home. However, the girlfriend took the normal route to the home. Now the girlfriend reached home before Campbell where she retired to bed. But as soon as she retired to bed, she raised alarm because she never seen him reach home. Now she called his phone, but there was no answer to be exact. Now a search was given where they found the body of Campbell along a dirt track near his home in the community with several stab wounds to his body. So far, there's no motive as to why he was murdered. The police are investigating. Now the killing of Craig Campbell is very fishy, I might say. And not to be the bearer of bad news, but the girlfriend need to be investigated or questioned even more by the police who are doing this investigation. As I said before, the killing of Craig Campbell is very fishy and the girlfriend need to be questioned some more by police officers. This is Jay Crazy. Again, until then, have a blessed and safe Saturday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity monster movements as well. Jay Crazy in a play with him and review the thing then. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy in a play with him and review the thing then. Review the thing then, review the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing then, review the thing then Jack Crazy